All right. Well, you guys probably noticed this place. Well, maybe not. There's a slab, foundation going in, uh, another another foundation, another foundation. They're almost done with these houses up here. That's where I sprayed the back of that house and it had like a huge mound of dirt uh, with tons of weeds, you couldn't see nothing. But, uh, and as you can see, the fields are dying. All the uh, natives and stuff are going dormant. We've had a lot of nights that are 40 degrees overnight. So I would say this is the last time we're gonna mow this, which doesn't really hurt my feelings. It's, it's pretty rough. I like the work, but it's pretty rough in here. Uh, it never was graded. It's slowly getting smoother as I mow with brush cat, um, but it's still probably not smooth enough. I probably wouldn't bring a tractor with a brush hog in here. Um, I think he'd break a gearbox, but maybe not. But anyways, we're gonna get it mowed today. Dump truck pull in. We're back filling 
one back there in the corner. Must have ran out of dirt. That's a dump truck over there. But he digs all the basements and this final grades and all that for the guy that that builds all this. I got I got all that done over there. I'm sorry I can't knock the dust off my windshield. I broke my wiper blade the other day. Got caught when I was uh, tree pulling. But uh, we got that far side done. Triangle this. I got this middle part done. The other side done. I think all we have we've got uh, back there by my buddy that's back there in the basement. There's like a uh, area right there in the circle and then maybe around where he's at and then I think we're done um, I'm gonna go this way I'll go ahead and track over there and then I'll probably put you guys outside so you don't have to listen to me talk so uh, give me a minute and I'll get over there all right well I never did turn the camera back on but we're done 
So, but you've seen me mow and mow and mow and mow. So that was probably enough mowing. Uh, you didn't get to see me mow without talking to you, I guess. But we got the rest of that mowed. There's a little stretch back here by my buddy's 953. Um, now he's up here working on this little thing that they were going to have me do. And now he's doing it, I guess. Um, superintendent. I guess the superintendent's going to go out there and throw seed around. But anyways, now he's up here grading it. I mean, I don't have a bucket with me or they would have had me do it. But um, anyways, now he's grading it. So I was giving him crap about now you're now you're taking my work from your builder <laughs> anyways but uh we'll be back out we're going to spray all the boxes again um i probably need to bring my kid out and just have her uh trim everything out and make it look really nice i may actually do that a uh, day or two before i spray i might just send her out here and say here however long it takes you just drive around and trim everything out it's all pretty dead but it would be nice to clean it up winter's coming it's October, uh, 1st of October, but it's October. And we may be able to do something that will be a highly beneficial in here, but I got to figure out the best way to do it. Um, so you guys give me some ideas. I need to grade all these right -aways. Um A Harley rake would probably do pretty good, uh, but I don't own a Harley rake, and I'm not a big fan of renting stuff because you never know what the guy's machine was the time before you rented it. Or the time before that or the time before that um, I'll, I'll rent one but I'm I'm not a big fan uh, I thought about the uh, greater scraper on the tractor um, I've been wanting to get another one of those I could pick one up for about two grand brand new 2300 bucks uh, the bad thing is is this has a decent amount of vegetation on it like this is a good for instance over here um, but it would be nice it would be nice to get everything graded out. I mean, like, this is bad. And see, it would take a long time to move. I think it'd take it too much time to move a, enough dirt in there to kind of fill up the lows and the highs. At least with the grader box, you can drag quite a bit with you. You know, knock out piles like that, drag it around. But mainly the right-of-ways. Um, the developer that's in here, he's got a bunch of ground. Um... I listen to him when he says the market's slowing down or speeding up. He says that he thinks it's going to be good uh, until next spring, and then after that, it may or may not be great. Um, he does a lot of hay work and stuff, so he's got cows and everything else, so he's thinking that maybe he can get some hay out of here if he gets decent enough uh, ground. But the bad thing is it's so rough right now, you can't do anything with it. I have to mow it with the skid loader. I can't do it with the tractor. It's too rough. You'll break a gearbox. If you hit a high spot of dirt or a big chunk of concrete or something, there's a good chance you're going to break the gearbox. The brush cat, slim to none. Uh, brush hog on the, on the tractor, it's a pretty good bet that you're going to mess it up. I've been looking at flail mowers just because it's belt drive. That takes a lot more of the shock off of it. Maybe it wouldn't mess it up, but um, anyway, I would say it wouldn't mess it up. But anyways, give me your ideas on uh, grading out these right-of-ways. I mean, it's nothing to see something like this. I mean, that that's rough as sin. I mean, I could clean that up with the tractor pretty quick, and I could pull some of that dirt to that low spot and grade this out. The problem is, is the vegetation. Um and I don't have anywhere in town that I could rent a Harley rake for the tractor. I would actually like to try to do that. Um, but anyways, let me know. A uh, big grader box for the back of the tractor. Kind of thought about that, but it's probably too wide. I'm thinking the width of the tractor, uh, like a six foot, maybe a seven foot. So anyways, give me an idea, but that's brush catting. Like always, I, I do a lot of brush catting. And yes, I ran it all day. Never had a problem with overheating. Everybody says, oh, you can't run them that long. I run them all day and it never overheats. So even on the dang Kubota. I don't like the Kubota, but that's what I got. And that's what we run. Anyways, um, I think my buddy's showing off because he's driving around with his bucket way up in the air. And I keep hearing a, hon a horn honk and stuff. I think he's messing with me. But anyways, we'll see you guys later. I'm going to have to go over and run into his bobcat with my truck or something. Bye.